Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today with a brand new uh, easy darkness deck. We're just gonna we're just gonna get there really quickly. That's all the deck is about. Um, but before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some extra love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, as top on top of that, down below you'll see our FOW Grimoire app, which is our uh, Force Will deck base slash or deck builder slash database for Force of Will. Uh, it's a really simple app to use just to like find out cards or like if you have a deck idea on the go and you're just like I need to put it somewhere go you're just like cool put it in here and it's super easy to build off of oh yeah um, with that guys we're gonna delve into the deck called Vampire's Blood with our boy Seijiro so Mikage Seijiro the interdimensional messenger he is the ruler so we're playing the new guy uh, he's got energized black but it's just that's yeah, just what he that, has that's what now. he does uh, judgments for two black and then you can banish a resonator, draw a card, then put two 1 1 counters on another resonator, on target resonator you control. Play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. So, pretty simple. He helps you just keep fueling your deck to keep going. Yeah, and the fact that you don't have to tap anything to do it, you just banish it no matter what. And then his judgment is uh, he is a 10 10 flyer with pay a black, banish a resonator, destroy a target J slash resonator. And revenge, if an entity you control is put into a graveyard from the field this turn, this card gains the following. Gains Drain, Eternal, and plus 10, plus 10. Yeah, which is ridiculous. Yeah, so all you gotta do is pay black, kill something, and then he gets plus 10, plus 10, and Eternal. Yep. And the first one uh, dude we have is Residence of the Black City. It's a one darkness, four, four, human. You may play this card from your graveyard. So that equals out, you can just keep sacking them to draw cards really much. When this card enters the field from the graveyard, it gains Swiftness, Precision, and plus two, plus two until end of turn. Until end of turn, this card would leave the Field removing the game instead. At the next of the end turn, remove this card from the game. So just to make sure it goes away as soon as possible. Yeah, you get it. You get to play it the first time, and then when it dies, you can play it again and do it some more. But you only get it one more time. But hey, it's extra free dudes. Yep, yeah, exactly. And like I said, we're really just playing aggro, so it's pretty simple. Uh, next is Makage Reya. She has one black quick cast 4 4, uh, and she has flying. Enter, search your deck for a darkness card and put it in the graveyard, then shuffle your deck. Vampires you control gain drain. And then whenever this card is banished as a as a cost, you can to bring it back to your hand. Yep. Super powerful. As a cost to a mage art. Sorry. Uh, the next one is Lonely Vampire. Just a cute 4 4 for one. When this card leaves the field, your opponent banishes a resonator. It's extremely strong for something like that. Yeah. For for Sajero where you get to do it at any time, yeah. it's always a kill spell. Uh, next is the Frightened Villager. He has a 1-drop 2-2, two, two, and when he put into the graveyard, you get a 4-4 four, four zombie. So, he helps replace himself, so you just get to keep going. Exactly. And what's not an aggro deck, but, oof, what, 12? No, 16 1-drops. <laughs> yeah. That's what you need. And, of course, we might as well have a Bone Dragon. It's a 5-darkness. It's a 17-13 flying. You may pay a Blacklist to play this for each Darkness Resonator you control put in the graveyard this turn. Enter, put X44 four, four, Darkness Zombie Resonators in Token Field, where X is the number of resonators in your graveyard. So this helps just get you back up and all your little dudes die off real quick. Uh, we have some some kill spells and control for it. So we got four of the Moan of the Dead, which is uh, Black Quick Cast. You may banish the Darkness Resonator rather than pay this card's cost. Destroy Target Resonator if its cost is equal to or less than the number of cards to in your graveyard. Yep. And you can get a stranger, but we're not doing that, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and this is perfect for Makage Rea because you just sack her and kill a dude and then just yeah. play it again. The next one is Magic Crest of Darkness. It's one dark, and when this card enters the field, put Target Resonator from your graveyard to your hand. Just just keep manipulating that graveyard. Uh, Lapis's Dark Storm. It is two black. Uh, your opponent discards a card at random and then discards a card. This is just there to help you keep control of their hand because they, you're going to be out of cards really quickly in this deck. So you want to make sure they don't have a whole lot of answers. Exactly. Uh, the next one is Blood of the Makage. It's a one drop mage art. Target J slash resonator you control gets plus eight plus eight in precision until in a turn. Uh, and, and then at the next of the turn, destroy it. So you just want to swing in and kill their dude real quick. And then like the cornerstone badass card of the deck is Abhorrent Revival. It is three black. Put any number of resonators with a combined cost four or less from your graveyard into the field. So, so good. <laughs> for three mana, you get four dudes in this deck is essentially how this is going to work. Out. Yeah. And then you just keep drawing and all the time. You got to remember that if you play it uh, on the the uh, citizens, they get all their bonuses because they come from the graveyard. I do believe? Let me make sure. Yeah, when it comes from the field and from the graveyard, you get all of his bonuses. All so, 
off the revival, he gets to be a 6 6. Yep. And before they die at the end of turn or whatever, or if they die, you just be like, sacrifice this draw card, doesn't yep. matter. Um, and then the stones are super simple. We're playing four of Sejiro's stone, the uh, revenge stone that it produces a black, and then revenge, put two one encounters on the resonator. So if you kill one of your other dudes, another dude gets bigger. And you really don't want to, you're not taxing your stones that much. So you're going to yeah. do that all the time. And then darkness and stones because we're just playing mono color. It's super simple. Yep. Uh, overall, this deck's going to be really fun to play and just super, ag super aggro. Like you're going to uh, have to get there within three or four turns. Otherwise you're going to lose. I'm it's down. It's just how this deck works. Yeah. Um, but we're really excited to play this deck. The deck list will be down below. Go check it out and then we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.